here's a short story about why I will never ever buy a car after an accident. I'm not talking about fender benders, I'm not talking about parking dings, I'm talking about accidents. So here's my mom's, mom's car. It's a 997 Opel and it's been with us since we bought it brand new in 997. Around 1998 the car had an accident. It was hit in the side door by a truck. About where the door handle is, there was no damage to the inside of the car, or so it seems. No damage to the rocker panel. Only the door skin got mangled. Not even the door car was damaged on the inside. It looked like a, not a serious accident. The car was one year old, was under warranty and dealership. Fixed the car. So, this is how it looks like in 2013 when I had my first camera. As you can see, it looks pretty good from far. Not that bad, but trust me, there is rust on the inside of the doors when they were, the doors were fixed, they were not replaced. These were the times where they picked things, not to place. Okay, you also can see there's no obvious rust here as well. In June 2018 I did the rear shocks, also everything looked pretty good. Maybe some surface rust, so I just sprayed some paint. And the car, pretty good. Some obvious rust spots on the outside, nothing structural, as so it seems to me. Here you can see the bottom of the doors. This is the side which not, was not in the accident, and this is the side with the accident. So in August 2018, the rear shocks fell inside of the car. Damn. Pretty standard thing, but I started to inspect the car, and I noticed the big rust spot on the other side. And here we jump to March 2020 when the exhaust decided to almost fall out. So here's my short video of the work and my walk around of the car. Big exhaust hole, the exhaust was over 10 years old, you know, stuff happened, but look at the floor. The car was garish its whole life. It was not parked on the street. You can see that's the damaged side, that's the side that was not in the accident, still pretty rusted out. That's because of the force of the accident was such big that it actually twisted the whole chassis and you couldn't see it but it actually affected the, the, the sheet metal. Yeah, that's, that's my repair but still holding on. Rockers clean on this side right here. Some usual rust spots for opal. And here you can see the damage. I I tried to use some rust protective measures, but everything just gets out. That's pretty normal for opal. But not as bad as here. You can see also the other side started to go as well. And that's all structural rust. Which makes me sad because it's good runner. Good running car. So that's why I will never ever buy a car that was an, an, another accident. Because the force that's used during an accident makes damage that it's not obvious. It will show after years and years. So if you want to buy a crashed car, you can drive it for 2-3 years, but after that just get rid of it. Don't even think of keeping it, because any serious accident will gonna leave a mark like this on the car. And doesn't mean it's Opal, doesn't mean it's Tin Can. It's all the cars. All the cars, because all the cars are 
meant to bend a little. Yeah, so now we can enjoy the rest of the video, which is just me doing the rear muffler. Also, it doesn't fit quite right, but over here it hits a little bit, but uh, it's gonna do for now. It will definitely, definitely, it's gonna be much more healthy than the rest of the car, that's for sure. And you can see the rust is coming all over the car, everywhere. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you have any similar stories, please feel free to comment. And have fun and take care, and I'm really curious about your opinions about this matter.